Hello, everyone. May God bless you all. May God give you everything you think you need that is righteous. And if he gives you something, let it not steer you, steer you away from God. As in, let it not take you away from God, which I think some things, I think money or whatever else may take some people away from God. Okay, let me get to my point. I think it is important. I read the Bible. Even though I read the Bible, I don't know everything of the Bible. But I am learning more and more. I think if anyone says they know everything of the Bible, they may not be telling the truth. We have to be careful of friends. Some friends may really, really love you. Some family may really, really love you as well. But some friends and some family may not really know what they are talking about 100% of the time, meaning they can be wrong. <clears throat> and I think some of us mix God's wisdom with carnality, as in worldly knowledge. I hope this is making sense. So we may read in the Bible this and that, but some people, or should I say some of us may mix God's word with common worldly knowledge, which is very, very, very dangerous, I think, in many cases. This should not be. So, if you study the Bible, and if a friend or a family member chooses to give you ignorant advice, you can steer away from it, right? But by you not knowing, and by you going by that ignorant advice, I think it can bring more trouble to you. You don't have to listen to what I say. You don't have to listen to what another woman or man of God says. Take what we say and research it for yourself. A person may say something that may make sense. How can I say this? A person may say something and it may seem, it may seem like it makes sense, but if you don't really have too much knowledge of the Bible, how will you know if what they are saying is true? Since some people, I believe, mix God's word with carnality. Some people may tell you how you should operate in life. Now, it may make earthly sense, but spiritually, in the aspect of the things of God, it is wrong. It is wrong. I know for myself, I don't want to 
continue making the same mistakes over and over again. If I have to go through pain, let me go through it and cut it off, I guess, in that particular area or obstacle or whatever it may be. Let me not have to run the same obstacle over and over again, continuing to fail. Let me be able to surpass the level I am on so I can go higher. I hope this makes sense. You need to research the Bible for yourself. You can ask for help, but ultimately read um, the thing I do now. Um, with, I believe what I do, I don't really do it too much, but I actually do it now. With someone that may not know too much of the Bible, I will have the person to read it. And like read verse seven, read it and tell me what you think it means. I can read verse seven, verse eight, verse nine. I can tell you, I can probably tell you what it means, but how are you going to know unless you take practice in trying to learn how to interpret the Bible for yourself. How will you, you can take my word, but I believe you should learn it for yourself just in case anything happens. I may get an error from, I may be in error from time to time. How can I say this? What if I am in error? Hmm? What if I am in error? So are you just going to just continue following me, following me blindly and just take my word for it when you can listen? I believe we have one chance in this life. Once we are dead, we are dead. I guess some people may say they died and came back, but in a general sense, once you die, that's it. Then you will enter eternity. Don't lay don't sacrifice your eternity over a human being. I hope this makes sense now. Where you are going to go after this life, you will be there forever. You will be, how can I say this? You will be in eternity forever. So whether it is being tormented or with God, I believe you are going to be there forever. So if you are going to be there forever, like take interest in it and research. Don't be lazy. Let me stop here. God bless you.